Good morning, State Line. Unlike Oprah, I'm not giving away cars. I'm giving away cloud cover. You get some clouds. You get some clouds. Everybody get some cloud cover the next few days. Plenty of cloud cover to go around for everyone today, tonight, and into the day tomorrow. But the good news is, after the cloud cover, there is some light at the end of the tunnel as sunshine returns late week and into the weekend forecast. But what we've been dealing with a lot, in addition to the cloud cover, is the temperatures at or right above the freezing point that's helped melt quite a bit of that snow out there. This is a before picture at my apartment. Now here's an after picture. Take a look at all the snow that is not there on the ground. And much of that snow has melted, left quite a bit of water puddling in yards and fields, as well as left a little bit of a flooding concern throughout much of the area. Flood advisories out for the Rock River at Byron, as well as at Dixon, and a flood advisory out for the Kishwaukee River in Belvedere. So keep an eye on river levels. They are running extremely high, and we are looking at some low-lying flooding concerns throughout the state line area. Rivers are already high before all that snow melt. Because of all the rain we've seen this year, we had a number of months with above average rainfall, and we're going to see a little evaporation, so that flooding concern is going to linger into the spring season. But cloudy skies the next few days top off our weather headlines. Clouds, clouds, and more clouds. Everyone gets some cloud cover. The only difference the next few days is going to be a little breezy Wednesday and into Thursday. So hold on to your hats out there. But the good news, like I mentioned, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Some sunshine likely by Friday and into the weekend. But the chill is going to continue. Highs should be in the mid-30s. We'll be holding steady in the upper 20s today, low 30s tomorrow. And then as we wrap up the work, we can start the weekend mid and upper 20s. We'll start to come close to average by the time we get into early next week. From our window world, from your window, I'd like to thank Alice for sending in this very cloudy picture. If you have a weather picture you'd like to see on air, be sure to send it in to us at weather at WTVO.com. Our Mercy Health Sky Cam overlooking a cloudy Park Hills golf course in Freeport this morning, 28 degrees, with a west wind light at 5 miles an hour, making it feel closer to 23 degrees out there. The mid and upper 20s, where we're at right now, it's a little cooler than where we were this time yesterday across the board, but the good thing is it's not as windy throughout the state line area as it was yesterday. But the winds will return tomorrow and into your Thursday with sustained winds 10 to 15 miles an hour and gusts close to 20. As we hold temperature steady today in the upper 20s, we'll have a high temperature rate around 29 degrees. It is a chilly one out there, so grab that cup of coffee as you head out the door under abundant cloud cover here on satellite and radar. And it's not just our neck of the woods that's under this thick layer of clouds. The entire region is under that thick layer of clouds, and that's why we're going to see a broken record the next few days. Copy and paste. Cloudy skies and more cloudy skies. You'll see the clouds here on Futurecast dominate the forecast. We do have the chance for a few flurries late today and into the overnight hours, but we'll keep the clouds around into your Wednesday forecast as well, with highs topping out right around that 30 degree mark. And recapping your forecast for today, we'll warm it up into the upper 20s, 29 degrees, mainly cloudy with a few flurries in the forecast. Tonight down into the lower 20s and looking ahead to your forecast for tomorrow. You guessed it, cloudy skies yet again with highs in the low 30s. Seven day forecast shows mid and upper 20s to end off the work week with some sunshine peeking through the clouds. Dropped Thursday down to a low weather risk thanks to that snow should stay off to our south. But the story over the next few days is going to be clouds, clouds and more clouds. Mass you get clouds. some clouds, you get some clouds. Everybody get some cloud cover, guys. So we'll just have to bring our sunny personality. <laughs> I know. I said you, it. Yeah, you and I have it, Jay. I think yeah. I just snotted us. All right. <laughs> We're good. Well, it is 8:47. Coming up next.